Hello everyone. I'm Panda. I'm from Southwest China. I live among bamboos. I love to eat the leaves, the stems, and the shoots of bamboos. Humans find me very cute. I love playing with children, but I miss my mom. And one day, I would like to go back to my mom. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my English class. I am Teacher Lata, and that was my cute little panda introducing himself to you all, and he loves doing it. Okay, today we are going to learn some tips to speaking English. How to introduce yourself in English? So these tips, which I am going to present before you, will help you to speak like the native English speakers. Are you ready? So without wasting any time, let's begin. As an English learner, you should know how to introduce yourself in English. Now the question is, how can you introduce yourself in English? What information you should give? And what is the right order? What kind of vocabulary or words to use while introducing yourself? So today I will teach you the best way of introducing yourself in English. The best way means which I think to be best. So introducing yourself can be viewed in the form of a circle which is made up of three parts. So let's look at the circle now. So the circle has been divided into three parts. And the first part, generally we, uh, when we introduce ourselves, we say hi, hello at the beginning. And then we have to say our name, location. After the name, you have to say your location, where are you from? And then, what kind of person you are? Let's look at the second part. You have to say about your hobby, what you like to do in your leisure, why you like it. So if you like uh, to say, play the piano, you have to say why you like it. Okay, and then when do you practice it or when do you do your hobby? The third part now, your dream, which is very important. What's your dream? Or what would you like to be when you grow up? Or what kind of profession you would like to choose and the reason for choosing it? Okay. These are the three parts that we are going to use while introducing ourselves. We understand that each part is basically what it is. But let's go into detail so that we can understand how to present our introduction. So let's start with part one. Suppose I want to introduce myself. I would say, Hello, I am Lata. I am from Dibrugar. I am a very hardworking and enthusiastic person. So this is very clear and a very short way of introducing yourself in part one. Clear? Okay. Now let's go to part two. Hobby or what you like to do in your leisure. Okay. I would say my hobby is Playing the guitar. I love music. Why you like it? Okay. I love music and I usually play the guitar in the evening when I'm free. So this is also very clear and to the point. So this is end of part two. So now let's move on to part three where we have to see about your dream. And then the reason for choosing it. Okay. Let me see it. 
My dream is to be a wildlife photographer. I have always loved animals and nature. So that is the reason for choosing it. Okay, and then you can also add, I would love to walk in nature and capture images of animals in natural environment. So this is also very clear about your dream, about the reason for choosing it. So, now as we have discussed the three parts in detail, let's see how the entire introduction looks like when the three parts are set together. So this is the introduction that I'm going to give. I haven't written hello here, so I would say, hello, I am Lata. I am from Dibrugar. I'm a very hardworking person. My hobby is playing the guitar. I love music. I usually play the guitar in the evening. My dream is to be a wildlife photographer. I have always loved animals and nature. I would love to capture images of animals in natural environment. So, don't you think that this is a very good English introduction? Now try to introduce yourself in English and remember it should be very short and clear. Make it sure that you practice at home today. So I hope uh, you liked my class today. So meet you again. Bye for today. Even my panda says you bye. Bye bye.